Walmart has these new Lego 3 packs, but they seem a little too good to be true. So I bought them. So I'm gonna find out if these are actually worth it or if it's just Lego trying to get more people to buy sets. I'll also be showing you some other ways to get Lego for really cheap. Let's do this. Okay, I just filmed opening this entire thing and I didn't realize I wasn't recording. So let's open her back up. So I have the Lego Star Wars three pack. And then I also have the Lego Batman three pack. So the Star Wars one comes with Yoda's Jedi Starfighter, Obi-Wan's Jedi Starfighter, and the second 501st battle pack. I actually already do own this set, but buying these two sets separately would literally cost the same amount. So I basically got this one for completely free, which is really nice. And although this one may seem like a good deal, the Batman one is a lot better deal because it's not Star Wars. Both of these sets are $50 each but this set in the Batman one is literally $50 on its own so you're getting these two other sets for completely free although one of those sets is just a tiny poly bag but I mean it's free and these are only available at Walmart literally Lego doesn't even sell them online at lego.com so an interesting about these sets is when you open them up you'll see that there's actually not bags inside but literally just the sets. So yeah, this product is just Lego shoving a ton of sets in one box to sell at Walmart, but a deal's a deal. <laughs> Now, if you notice, the Star Wars one comes with 654 pieces altogether, and the Batman one comes with 835, and they're both the same price. So once again, that just shows how overpriced Lego Star Wars is, but you know, whatever. <laughs> this one's interesting. It's got these sets, of course. So if I can pull that out, yeah, there's the Batwing. And then it's got this little cardboard sleeve thing that was holding the poly bag. All right, you gotta dump it out. There you go. But yeah, this one also comes with three sets. The mini figures in this one are kind of boring though. It comes with Batman, Batman, Joker, Joker, Batman. Those are some original characters. But yeah, I'm kind of interested at how much these sets cost all added up in price and seeing how good of a deal we got. Okay, so for the Star Wars one, the battle pack is retail $20. Then the Yoda one is $35, which is a lot for what that is. And then Obi-Wan's, which keep in mind is a bigger set than Yoda's, is $5 cheaper at $30. Lego Star Wars is the most confusing thing ever. But yeah, all of that added up equals $85. So you're getting $85 worth of sets for $50. But like all Lego sets, these go on sale. For sale prices, I've usually seen this one around $25. This one's always at 16, it seems like. And this one's on sale for 28 right now. So with that all added in, it'd be $69. So you're still saving $20 getting the entire pack, even with these adjusted for sale prices. So yeah, I'd say that's for sure a really good deal. Now let's see how much you're saving with the Batman sets. Okay, so the poly bag is of course a $5 set. And then the Batwing one is $38. I thought this was the one that was $50, but that would be this one. This one is $48 at retail. I don't understand that pricing. Okay, so all three of these sets added up is $91, which is $6 more than all the Star Wars sets added up. So yeah, this is a better deal than the Star Wars one, but I thought it would be a better deal to be honest. But as we were looking at earlier, these definitely come with more pieces than the Star Wars sets. Okay, so the Batman one's adjusted for sale price. The poly bag is still gonna stay five. Poly bags don't ever go on sale, really. I feel like I've seen the Batwing on sale before, but as of right now, it's not. So we'll still have to keep that at 38. And this set is $10 off at 38 which to be honest that should at least be the retail price for this set no idea how that's a $50 set but with all of those sale prices added up these would be $81 which is $12 more than the Star Wars sets on sale but then again that varies because I've seen this set on sale before and it's not right now <laughs> all right let's build these yo what is this piece
All right, there's all six sets built. So there's the battle pack, there's Yoda's Starfighter and Obi-Wan Starfighter, which this is the one I already had. I didn't build it again. And then the small Batman poly bag is actually really interesting because he comes with this rubberish cape thing that's combined with his helmet piece. So it's really interesting. Technically that piece makes it so he can't fit in any of these or anything because they usually have a cloth cape. And speaking of this cloth cape, they only have one hole now instead of the old way of doing things with the two holes. So then when you actually put it on the minifigure, this one pokes out way too much and it looks ridiculous. While the double hole one, because of those two holes, will auto push it down and keep it flat. I also definitely prefer the old one compared to the new one. The new one's got like massive eyes for some reason and it just looks way more cartoonish sort of and like out of character for Lego. I definitely prefer this old one. But yeah, the Batwing and the Batmobile are actually really cool. The Batwing just looks cool because it's the Batman logo. You can see it against some white really well and it actually has a hook on the back for hanging it up somewhere. So I might actually do that because I think it looks really cool. And the Batmobile actually has fire that spins when the wheels spin, which is cool. And my favorite feature, you can twist this gear on the side and these guns pop up and flick off those pieces and it's just so satisfying to me. I love it. So yeah, all of these sets for $100 is actually a super good deal. But there's plenty of other ways to get a good deal. So to get brand new Lego for cheap, I definitely recommend waiting until one of the main retailers like Walmart, Amazon, or Target has deals on these either online or in person because some stores, especially like Walmart, have super good clearance sometimes. So the issue with this one is it usually takes a long time for sets to go on sale, usually at least a year. And if you watched my video before this, I actually ordered Lego from Timu and it was legit. So technically you could do that, but it's super sus. You can watch my video up here and all the information about it. So let's say you wanna get a good deal on a brand new set that just barely came out. So if you're buying directly from Lego, they'll have promos that happen every once in a while where you still have to pay full price for your set, but you're getting a free set with it that you could then sell to make money back for that set that you bought if you want to go through all that process or you can just get a free set but speaking of lego.com they have lego insiders which is completely free to sign up for and you get points on every purchase and it's basically five percent back on everything you buy which is pretty nice and you might as well do it but other than that you're probably gonna have to pay full price for brand new sets now if you want lego for a lot cheaper i definitely recommend going used you can get lego for a really good deal on ebay or bricklink depending on who's selling it and prices of used sets especially old star wars sets compared to them sealed are a huge difference in price but if you're not looking at used sets and you just want parts to build stuff out of, people sell bulk Lego on eBay all the time, which is just a massive thing of Lego pieces. And they're usually a really good price. And that is definitely how I'd recommend getting a ton of pieces to build with. And eBay isn't the only place you can get used Lego. There's lots of other places that can do it. You can even get stuff locally, like on Facebook Marketplace. This also includes like thrift stores and stuff. But every time I go to a thrift store, the Lego's already gone because people know that Lego is expensive. And if you're that type of person, you can get a direct knockoff of an actual Lego set, which is illegal for them to make, by the way. <laughs> but you could always do that, and they're usually like a fourth of the price of the actual set, but quality sucks, and it's not Lego. I only buy official Lego stuff, and that's definitely what I'd recommend for you, but I mean, if you can't afford official Lego, you gotta build some out. All right, guys, that's it for the video. If you wanna get any of these sets, I'll have a link down below in the description. And if you wanna check out another video similar to this, I'll have a link up here and also down in the description. But as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Shoot, what was the Lego Star Wars? I wasn't even paying attention. What was the Lego Star Wars prices all added up? Who texted me? Oh, Carson, stop texting me. Shoot, I don't know where Batman's head went.